the W wrench. How to use your Enerpak W series low profile hydraulic wrench. In this section of the video, we will review the safe operation and general maintenance of the Enerpak W wrench. To attach the cassette to the W wrench, first make sure that you are not connected to your pump. Next, slide the head release lever out as shown on the cassette. Then, slide the drive unit into the opening slowly, making sure you keep the retract link aligned with the slot. Once the base of the drive unit bumps up into the cassette fully, flip the lever back into the cassette. Verify there is complete engagement of the two components by trying to pull them apart. To remove the cassette from the W wrench, first verify that the system does not have any pressure in it. Then, hold the tool with the retraction foot pointing out. Pull the head release lever outward and slide the cassette apart from the drive unit. To connect hoses, first make sure the hoses match the pressure rating of the pump and the wrench you will be operating. Make sure there is no pressure in the system. If there is, turn off the pump and depressurize before proceeding. Remove the hose dust caps. Notice that there are male and female couplings on the hose and on the W wrench. Verify the couplings are clean and free of debris. Connect the hose with the female coupling to the advanced side of the wrench. The advanced side is marked with an A. Slide the sleeve down over the advanced coupling and hand tighten completely. Connect the male hose coupling to the return coupling on the W wrench. It is marked with a B. Slide the sleeve in place and hand tighten completely. Fit the hoses to the pump and follow the same procedure as with the W wrench. Remove the dust caps from the hose and pump. Similar to the hose and wrench, there are male and female couplings on the hose and on the pump. Verify the couplings are clean and free from debris. Connect the hose with the female coupling to the advanced side of the pump. The advanced side is marked with the letter A. Slide the sleeve down over the advanced coupling and hand tighten completely. Connect the male hose coupling to the return coupling on the pump. It is marked with the letter B. Slide the sleeve in place and hand tighten completely. Pump Operation and Setting Torque Adjust the pressure on the pump as necessary to set the torque desired. You can use the settings listed in your pump's manual to set the pump pressure, or go to the bolting calculator at www.enerpack.com. When possible, a single user should operate the classic pump and the W wrench. This can help prevent accidental activation of the pump while the operator is positioning the wrench. Tightening and Loosening Positions to tighten a bolt, you may first want to make sure that you are using the proper lubricant to assist in the process. Next, find the plus sign on the side of the W wrench cassette and position it facing you. Place the cassette over the nut you would like to tighten. Position the reaction foot against a suitable reaction point. The reaction point will counteract the force caused by operating the tool. Start the pump. Operate the tool to tighten the nut. Stop the pump after the work has been completed. When torquing, it is common to tighten only one bolt at a time. This can result in point loading and load scatter. To avoid this, torque is applied in stages following a prescribed pattern in four steps. Tighten the nut spanner tight, ensuring that two to three threads extend above the nut. Tighten each bolt to one-third of the final required torque following the star pattern as shown. Then, increase the torque to two-thirds, following the star pattern as shown. Increase to full torque on the third pass, again following the same pattern as used in steps one and two. Perform a final pass on each bolt, working clockwise from bolt one at the full and final torque. To loosen a nut using the W wrench, you may first want to apply releasing oil to the threads and allow the oil to penetrate. Hold the W wrench with the minus side facing you. Place the cassette over the nut you would like to loosen. Operate the pump and W wrench until the nut is loose. When loosening bolts, a torque value higher than the tightening torque is normally required. This is mainly due to corrosion and deformation in the bolt and nut threads. The breakout torque cannot be accurately calculated, however, depending on conditions, it can take up to two and one half times the input torque to break out. The use of penetrating oils or anti-seize products is always recommended when performing breakout operations. 
safe handling of the W wrench, some do's and don'ts. This is how to properly locate the W wrench using the reaction arm. The incorrect placement. If the reaction arm is placed incorrectly, it may actually damage the nut or the wrench. Incorrect placement can also occur if the nut is too close to the wrench and the reaction arm cannot be positioned properly. Be aware of pinch points from the reaction foot. The reaction foot can pinch your fingers or the hose if you are not careful. Correct use and location of the W wrench is shown here. Make sure the W wrench is balanced as in this view. Incorrect use occurs if the W wrench is placed improperly on the nut and associated surface. Damage could occur to the nut or the W wrench or injury to the person holding the wrench. Make sure there is sufficient clearance for the W wrench so it is allowed to move without binding up on any nearby surfaces. Damage to the W wrench, the nut or bolt, and injury to the user may result if there is not proper clearance for the wrench. Make sure the correct size cassette is used on the nut. Reducers are available for common sizes. Do not work in line with the bolt if you are tightening or loosening. Preventive maintenance. The drive unit. Check the tightness of the swivel manifold pin screws. Remove the drive unit from the cassette and dry all components. A mild solvent can be used to clean the W drive unit and cassette. Pressurize the drive unit to maximum pressure. Advance and retract and check for leaks. Damaged components or seals must be replaced. Apply a thin coat of molybdenum disulfide to the locations as shown. Lubricating the W series cassettes. Remove the head from the drive unit. Remove the screws, then lift and remove the side plates. Remove the hex ratchet, spring loaded drive shoe, and compression spring. Clean all parts with a mild solvent. Inspect all parts for damage. Dry all components and apply a thin coat of molybdenum disulfide to the locations as shown. Do not apply any lubricant to the ratchet or drive shoe teeth. Thank you for viewing this training video on the Enerpak Professional W Series Low Profile Torque Wrench.